Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be giving you a little bit of wisdom about your upcoming year of 2020. Now, this isn't necessarily complete concrete, um, and you are able to kind of take awareness into play, as well as being able to realize that some of the obstacles that you might face are a part of your growth and just ever expansive nature. So today we're going to be doing um, a pick a card reading as well as a charm reading. We also have some runes here that are going to clarify um, a little bit about each pile. They're all turned upside down for now, so it's a little bit hidden. Um, so if this is your first time or if you're coming back, um, take a moment and meditate or if you're visually drawn to a specific card, go ahead and go for that. Um, but just choose a pile. Um, there's no wrong answers here. Or if you're really drawn to two, then you can go for two. But I usually like to recommend one just so you can kind of get a more accurate reading. But again, if you're drawn to two, that's totally fine. Nothing wrong with that at all. We have uh, pile number one, which is a Dalmatian Jasper. Pile number two, which is an orange Carnelian. Pile number three, which is some Adventurine. And pile number four, we have a Selenite. So go ahead and take some time, um, really kind of, uh, you know, uh, feel what you're drawn to. And then I have some timestamps below in the description and in the comment section that will kind of give you a little bit more, um, you know, guidance to where you need to fast forward to in the video. Good luck and much love to you. Um, if you enjoy your reading, please comment and uh, subscribe. Much appreciated. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started with pile number one, and I'll put everything else to the side here. I'm slipping off here. There we go. I'm gonna have a sip of tea here, so sorry if you're watching the interlude here. Boy, if I could tell. All right, what's going on, pile number one? We're here to check out your 2020 predictions. What is this year going to bring you? What kind of obstacles, challenges, or growth will you be presented in this year? And how you'll, how, uh, just a little bit of advice to how to navigate through it. Um, so right off the bat, we're going to, you know, take a peek at this one. It's got a little froggy on it. Um, so nice little froggy on the Dalmatian Jasper. I'm seeing a lot of playfulness, actually. Frogs, a lot of movement. Um, gr growth change as well, I find, with the frog there. So there's that. Um, your rune is disruption. So this means that anything that you might be going through that is perceived as a challenge or if there's a loss that happens, whether it be a relationship, a job, or a transition or a change, something that might feel a little bit heavy this year is actually going to be really contributing to your growth. So keep that in mind when you do go through these changes in this upcoming year that the obstacles will be actually leading you to your greater purpose and your higher self. So just keep that in mind. Um, it might seem at the time that the disruption or the obstacle is like kind of bringing you down but in reality it's just a change in kind of like scenery a change in uh, your path which is going to be very beneficial for you so right off the bat that's your lovely rune to start off with so i think that's a pretty good start guys not gonna lie i'm gonna put that aside here and we are going to do a little bit of um, a card reading now and then we're going to do some charms after so let's take a peek at what you got so we have love oh hello we have snake which is creation it's a lovely card there we have nine of cups reversed queen of swords reversed the Fool, Nine of Swords again, oh wait, no, that was Nine of Cups, never mind, and uh, Six of Wands. All right, so taking a look, 
taking a look at your 2020 prediction um, we are really looking at a lot of transition and a lot of change i'm seeing that there might be a little bit of financial struggle which is going to maybe cause you a little bit of grief here i'm getting that because of the reverse nine of cups you're feeling like maybe you're not able to celebrate you're not able to um really enjoy life in a way there might might have been some things that happened this year which has kind of put you in the space where you're maybe feeling depressed maybe you're feeling anxious maybe you're kind of feeling alone um, isolated you may have actually um, you know ended a relationship or ended a big transition and i'm seeing that 2020 is going to be bringing in that love it's going to be bringing that energy back to you that you feel like you may be lost a little bit this year. Um, so whatever issues, whatever conflict, whatever anxiety you were facing um, in terms of being able to really enjoy life, that's kind of really what I'm getting. Um, a lot of Nine of Swords energy here is kind of speaking anxiety to me. So, you know, losing sleep, tossing and turning in the night. Um, but the wise owl is guiding you. So just be aware that the owl is watching um, and this is leading to your greater wisdom, just as in the disruption rune here. Oh, it just jumped right out of my hand. The disruption rune here indicates there may be some, um, you know, you're going to have to get back on your feet. And that's going to be a little bit uncomfortable because right now you're kind of in this like mental space where you're kind of feeling really defensive. And that's what the queen of swords is really speaking to me you've come from this place you're coming from this place that is just kind of like mentally sharp cold and kind of guarded as well as like you feel maybe your mind is not necessarily um in the right space so i'm seeing that you might be having a hard time seeing the positive in all of this because it looks like it's pretty heavy um and in that i'm seeing also that there's a difficulty and just kind of letting go of control that's kind of what i'm getting so there's like you feel like you need to keep um like resisting this change or resisting this growth um, and it's not necessarily easy to go through growth or change just be aware that there is change coming um, and maybe a little bit more obstacles before you finally get to where you need to be but with these two positively aspected cards, this love card, I'm seeing that there might be relationship um, involvement here, um, as well as some self-love I'm seeing coming through. So the snake card is also really speaking to me of creation, as it says here. It's kind of a small print there, creation. And the snake is all about shedding its skin. Um, so as, you know, a difficult process, you know, the snake kind of goes through its own transformation and shedding its skin and being reborn. In this depiction, the snake is clung to a tree, so it's life, it's growth. Um, and I'm really seeing that, um, you know, participating in creative endeavors is going to also help you get through this shift. And it's really going to make you feel productive, like you're really moving forward again and you're being able to really enjoy life as you did once before and move out of this place of mental kind of like caging the six of wands reversed is also representing that you might not feel like you're being acknowledged or heard um you might not being like might not be being recognized or maybe this is a sense of isolation feeling like you're kind of alone you don't really have anybody there with you um, I'm seeing you really working through this and coming through a lot of this anxiety um, and worry and confusion, which is very beautiful. I'm really happy that you're going to be moving through this change. Um, this is never an easy thing to go through. And I'm seeing a lot of really positive aspected, um, aspected cards here. And I'm, I'm sorry that you went through this, this period of feeling heavy, this period of feeling maybe a little bit low, not really sure what makes you happy, but I am seeing that with a few more challenges and just a little bit more perseverance, you're going to be able to get through this. Um, now, when I say that there's going to be challenges, try not to take them as something that's going to be obstructive or intrusive to you because they're actually really going to be helpful to you in the long run. 
Um, now keep in mind that these changes are necessary. I feel like you know that they're necessary, but there's like a resistance as well as where's this anxiety is coming from. You know that there needs to be transformation and change, but you're having a hard time shedding your skin, getting that self-love going. And ultimately, if there was a transformation and change, when you come to the space of love, creation, and abundance, you will essentially tra attract the people that are meant to be in your life and the people that will help you flourish that love within yourself and within your life, as well as be very supportive over your creative endeavors and um you know being through this all of this tough stuff you're really going to grow stronger as a person and i'm really proud of you so far for making it through um some of the adversities and some of the challenges that you've faced so far um as they're not always easy to kind of um you know target and go through and whatnot and it's just some tough stuff so i'm going to do a little bit of a charm reading for you as well just to get a little bit more information um, a little bit more fine-tuned details. So I'm going to do some shuffling here. Okay, so let's look at this. So I'm seeing that there maybe was a type of commitment with the ring here. I'm seeing maybe there was a commitment that fell through or maybe some plans that you're really hoping to happen haven't. This has kind of in incited the um, the tower card here, which is kind of a little bit of rebirth, reconstruction in regards to this commitment, or maybe you need to rebuild what you want to focus on. Um, with the Virgo card, the Virgo is representing like a lot of hard work. It's very earth element. So you're going to have to get your butt in gear. The Virgo really speaks to me of order and, um, just kind of pushing forward and hard work and dedication, which is what you're definitely going to need with some of these challenges that you're going to be presented with. Um, and no cash value. So this this token to me represents there might be some things that you feel might not hold value to you, but they're going to pay off in the long run. So there might be things that you're doing, even if it's like positive self-talk or, you know, restructuring things or being creative. You might feel like you're not going anywhere in terms of this change, but persevere, um, really, really stay committed to this change um, because it is going to be, it's going to be difficult to get through this um initially but it's going to get easier as you go along because the tower can sometimes be a very heavy card um, which is not to say that this is misfortune this is actually a really really strong reading and the conflict that you're going to be going through the conflict is definitely the axe speaks to me of of conflict and large amounts of conflict within yourself as well um, and a lot of like fiery um, fieriness around this conflict so maybe you might be a little bit a little bit quick tempered a little bit um, quick to react um, but I'm definitely seeing the transformation, which is the butterfly around this conflict. So just keep that in mind. Please keep that in mind throughout the year as you're going through these things, you're going through these changes. Trust that the universe is bringing you into a place that is really going to be for your greater good. Don't look at it as, oh, why is the universe pun punishing me? Why is God punishing me? No, these transformations are going to be beautiful. They're going to make you feel stronger and you're going to reestablish yourself in a way that you can't be shaken and i'm seeing that a lot of strong energy so the virgo and the sagittarius that very like fixated like you know what this is how it is blunt to the point and that sagittarius energy and that virgo energy is really going to be brought in there to kind of help you push through a lot of this stuff so be being really um, focused driven and focused despite maybe what you're feeling and having this like sassiness, this I'm not afraid to speak my mind sort of attitude and just kind of really pursuing and pushing for what you want um, in a way that might feel a little bit uncomfortable, but you're going to really make strong connections because it's moving you more towards your authentic self um, and more towards the change that you need to happen in order to get out of this kind of like heavier, heavier space. It's going to give you that perspective change because you're going to be um, associating with maybe new people, you're going to be um, creating, you're going to be dabbling in the realm of, of change, which creation is also change, it's transformation also in a way. So yeah, that's definitely what I'm seeing for your uh, reading today, which is wonderfully wonderful. 
Um, and I'm seeing a lot of really positive growth for you. So you're going to come out of this place. There's just a bit more work for you to do and it might seem like it's dragging on and it's not going anywhere. But trust in the universe. Trust that you're moving towards your greatest self and that you're going to be changing and you're going to be growing in ways that you never knew possible. But it's really going to refresh you and it's going to give you the life that you really want. Um, just focusing towards that self-love as well as that creative um, aspect in you is going to just bring out this beautiful um, butterfly. It's going to really, you know, you're going to shed your skin, which might be a little bit uncomfortable, but from this, you're going to become stronger. You're going to get a new set of skin. Um, you're outgrowing, just as the snake speaks, you know, you're outgrowing your skin. You're outgrowing this way of thinking and just be ready for change and transformation as it is it is coming and um, it's going to be wonderful for you. I'm really happy to see that. Um, much love to you. If you enjoyed your reading, please give me a thumbs up and comment in the description. Um, subscribe if you want to. And I'm, I'm happy to continue to do readings for you guys because you're also absolutely wonderful. And I really hope that you have a fantastic 2020. Seriously, like all the love to you because you're going through a transformation and I am on board with that. Sometimes, you know, a little growing pains are necessary. Okay, we're going to move on to group number two. Here we go. I'm going to move that up. Group number two. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are going to be taking a peek at what does... 2020 have in store for you what kind of changes transformations are you going to be going through um, what kind of things are you going to be seeing we're going to be doing um, a card reading as well as we're going to be doing a charm reading at the end we have this lovely bowl of charms here we're just going to be getting a little bit more fine-tuned detail for you after we're all finished your reading so we have an orange calcite and to me orange calcite speaks of playfulness speaks of um, just playfulness like interacting with the world interacting with others kind of really creation expanding your uh, sense of self and really interacting like it's an interactive one and we also have um car or carnelian up here which is also an orange stone so same same gateway okay so this is our gateway rune see that there this represents seeing the gateway but just choosing to walk through it so this kind of represents maybe feeling like you're at a standstill in your life and you're having a hard time moving forward, but now is your chance to really choose to grow, to choose to make the decision, to choose to make the choice, to create the action necessary for the growth that you need. There's a gateway, there's a doorway. There was maybe some stagnation this year that you're really, you're really gonna be pushing through. So just choosing, to say yes, choosing to walk through the doorway, even though you're not entirely sure what it holds. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting from this lovely little gateway rune here. We're gonna go ahead and turn over your cards and see what you get. We have sexual arts, oh snap. That is interesting because that ties into the orange cards as well. Sensuality and sexuality is big with the the orange and the um, so, um, sacral chakra yeah sacral chakra <laughs> um, we have happiness which is dolphin the lovers ace of wands nine of pentacles the magician queen of pentacles okay so you're going to be reconnecting in a big way you're going to get more in touch with your body that's kind of what i'm getting sexual arts represents just feeling that intimacy again not only with others but with yourself re-establishing that deep 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 intimacy and really becoming involved in your growth and your healing. This could depict actual sensual activities, but this also depicts a deep sensuality within yourself. So really coming to that place of intimacy within yourself and just choosing, choosing love. Um, I'm feeling like maybe there was a little bit of a lack of self-love having the reversed lovers card come through this lovers card for me represents the self she's looking in the mirror but there's a skewed view on it you know maybe you're feeling self-conscious maybe you're feeling like you're unlovable or you're undeserving 
with the reversed magician card i'm seeing that there's like a sense of maybe not feeling like you have all of the tools to succeed as well as the nine of pentacles is this confusion with abundance like you're feeling like maybe you're not living the life that you want to live I'm seeing that there may be some successes that are happening, but there's a lack of fulfillment that's happening with each success that you make. The Queen of Pentacles represents a hardworking person, an internalized energy. So I'm seeing that there's a lot of, you know, work that needs to be done within yourself. But the, the, the Queen of Pentacles to me is kind of like this, you know, get her done sort of woman. People look to you for guidance, look to you for strength, but you're really wavering on that. You're really wavering on this intimacy that you're holding within yourself, that you're really bringing out to the world. Um, you know, with this playful energy in this in the stone here, I'm seeing that you've maybe lost some vigor. You've lost some um, some spice. It's kind of also what I'm getting. You're less the, the zest for life is kind of you know felt like it's wavered but don't worry the dolphin is um <laughs> represent of happiness so the dolphin is beautiful energy which is interesting because the dolphin also ties into sexual arts dolphins are one of the only other species that actually has sex for fun so that might be an indicator so allowing yourself to reconnect with this more intimate part of yourself i know this is a little bit personal guys i know that it's a bit personal but just keep it in mind that the universe um, is telling you to reconnect with yourself on a very intimate level and to really reestablish this connection with yourself so if this is moving towards like if you're looking for love or if you're looking for um, a relationship in this year of 2020 or maybe you're actually looking to reestablish a relationship this is going to be a clear indicator you need to rebuild this intimacy within yourself i believe you have the tools to do so but the ace of wands here as well is signifying that there's going to be a new start um, a flash a a re you know a reignition of spark so when i see this the ace of wands i think of like you know when you flick on a lighter it's like whoo, the flame comes the ace of wands is going to be representative of new ideas based on action and pushing you forward so that you can feel like you're connected um, a lot of fire energy here so um, i'm seeing like passion um, moving into the new year i'm seeing um, maybe feeling like you can actually enjoy the things that you have in life and it's going to re spark your vigor so that like with the with the rune card it has been a standstill for you you feel like you're stagnant you might have resources you might have all the things that you think should make you happy but there's definitely this unwillingness to almost change your way of thinking and the, with the queen of pentacles being a very established person it's almost kind of got in your way of enjoying the spark um, enjoying the newness of things and some of the vigor that comes with with life so try new things be playful enjoy things create go out explore get in touch with your sensuality and rediscover yourself in a way that isn't so structured allow for that spontaneity allow for that change allow for that playfulness incorporating other people as well into your changes into your life go out and play and enjoy you're allowed to be you're allowed to kind of let loose you know if you have commitments that you feel that make it a difficult time to kind of um you know waver or change just know that the change might feel a little bit uncomfortable at first because you're so structured and it's different to kind of like break away from that but i'm seeing that in the past maybe you did have this spark you did have this connection you did have a more spicy aspect to yourself that you need to find again you need to find that playfulness and definitely focus on solar plexus oh no sorry i keep saying solar plexus so maybe it's both solar plexus and sacral chakra energy which is building your confidence and allowing that sensuality and that playfulness to come forward out of you and to just kind of let go of the need to control um, it's easier said than done but when you do find that like be be mindful of what you're thinking if you do find that you're moving down the path of feeling like you need too much structure just take a deep breath and be like this is this experience is okay 
just because it's different from the structure that I'm used to does not mean that it is that it is working in a way that is um, heavy or anything like that but I'm seeing that coming to the end of this year these are some of the things that you're struggling with in 2020 is really going to awaken this part in you um, and this fun in you again um, just making sure you're being careful as well if this is something that you want to pursue with other people or if you're single or anything like that just be cautionary right because you know the, reigniting with your spark is great reigniting with intimacy is great but just make sure that you're doing it in a way that is really contributing to your growth and your happiness. So really kind of notice how you're feeling through all of this change and allow yourself to be open to some of the shifts that might happen in the level of deep intimacy with yourself and the other people in your life. I'm going to do a bit of a charm reading to get a little bit of clarification. I'm just going to do some shuffling here. Okay, so we have the frog, which is interesting because the, the frog prince. So you're <laughs> maybe you've kissed a lot of frogs in the past, but I'm seeing that if that is the case, I'm seeing some love actually that's coming forward here. Um, so it could be a new relationship, very much so. Um, that's kind of what I'm seeing from this for sure. The generous Leo. So there's the fire energy that's popping out. It's like, hey, saucy person i don't want to say lady because that's just not 100 percent accurate saucy human um you're going to be attracting um love through this kind of newfound spice this newfound energy that you have and i'm seeing that it's going to be a very transformative love it's going to be very passionate um it's going to be very um this is the rose quartz so it's very love driven we have the Libra, which is balance. So I'm seeing this, this um, dynamic is going to be really balanced. You're going to find a lot of balance within yourself as well. Keep in mind that this doesn't necessarily have to apply to a relationship reading. This is just kind of one of the messages that I am getting. Infinity. So maybe you're going to be finding your soulmate. You're going to be really coming close to yourself and you're going to be establishing patterns that are really going to create a lot of healthy um change in your life and tradition it's going to be tying into some tradition um so establishing routines for yourself establishing a belief system you're going to be cleaning out some old stuff which is what the um this lovely geode is telling me of course so it's going to you're going to be cleaning and you're going to get more in touch with your intuition through all of this so it's going to be strengthening it's going to be balancing um, and just allow that spicy, fun energy to take place. But I am seeing that you're going to be attracting a lot of people with this, this spike, this, this flame. You know, this uh, Ace of Wands card here, this fiery nature is going to be something that's going to be moving you forward. As much as it seems like it might be thwarting you or going against, you know, your structure, the playfulness and maybe a little bit of the the splurging and the abundance and then just treating yourself is going to be great because the Leo is all about treating yourself, loyalty, um, fun, adventure, passion, um, love, all of that. So it could be love, guys. It could be love. So just keep on working on that part of yourself and allow yourself to really break free. Um, and whether it be a new established relationship or one that you're already flourishing, I'm seeing some positive changes and balance being brought into the dynamic, which can really bring you closer um, with yourself as well as with others. So I'm really happy to see that is going to be happening with you guys. Um, that's kind of all I'm getting for this reading. I hope it was um, really helpful for you. If you enjoyed please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like more pick a card readings. Good luck with 2020. I think it's going to be a very transformative and fun year for you. Seems like you deserve it. And don't be afraid to like splurge. Don't be afraid because you're a hard worker. Don't be afraid to splurge a little bit. All right. Much love to you. Good luck. Good luck. Put everything aside here and we're going to move on to pile number three. I one jumped out.
Pile number three. Hello and welcome to today's Pick a Card reading. We're going to be doing a card reading. We're going to go a little bit into your rune today and we're going to be doing a bit of a charm reading as well. So it's going to be a little bit of a multifaceted divination reading, which is super fun. This one is what is 2020 going to bring for you? So it's going to maybe look at some of the things that you've faced this year, some of the things that you're really going to be bringing forward. Um, into this new year and some of the changes that are going to be happening. So let's first talk a little bit about the Aventurian. So the Aventurian is big on love. It's big on romance. Um, there is a doggy on this. So it represents loyalty. It represents kind of feeling like you have um, a tribe, like a, a clan, a feeling just kind of like you're loyal to your clan and, and you're loyal to the people around you. Um, and yeah, I'm seeing that there's really going to be a strong established connection here um, coming up in 2020, which is great right off the bat. Aventurine definitely does flourish positive um, relationships and growth. I'm also seeing, oh, hello. This represents partnership or a gift. So there's going to be something that somebody else brings you. This represents other people. So it's really closely tying into establishing your grounds for security, um, realizing that, you know, it takes two, you know, it takes, it takes a tribe to really, really bring you together. It, you're going to be brought together. It's going to be bringing you closer to yourself as well as being able to trust. I think that too comes in with the dog. There's a big trust factor going on here. This X marks the spot. I feel like you're going to get to the place that you want to be. I'm going to flip over your cards now and see what we got going on just one at a time so it won't be too overwhelming. I'll hold them up for you so you can see what you got. First card, Phoenix Rising. Wow, that's a powerful one. Um, we have a loyalty. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. I When there's coincidences like this, it's insane, okay? The dog, like I did not look at these beforehand, by the way. This is insane. Um, the crane, okay, and crane also brings good tidings. Um, three of cups, the hierophant, page of pentacles, knight of cups, ten of cups. Okay, you are going through some changes, so... You have burnt to ashes in this um, last year. You have transformed. You are growing. You are changing. There is some power that's going on here. There is some fire energy. The phoenix is being reborn from the ashes. So a lot of fiery, passionate energy, which may, you know, in the, the destruction of this sense of, ego in this last year has maybe made you feel like you don't have any flame left you maybe went through a depressive period you maybe went through a period of feeling just kind of let down or heavy i'm seeing that um, maybe you were having a hard time enjoying some of the things that you normally enjoy um, three of cups really speaks to me of that it speaks of celebration but not necessarily um, being able to be really active in your place of um celebration so it's just like maybe not feeling justified maybe you feel like you're not allowing yourself to really enjoy to let loose maybe there's this sense of control that's going on but just know that the sense of control is creating this heavy home environment there's some struggles that have been going on in terms of you feeling fulfilled emotionally um and it's because there's this inability to really feel like you have control or take take control of the situation the page of pentacles reversed usually recommend like refers to somebody that's very eager to learn a young entrepreneur but i'm seeing that being reversed this is like stagnating you it's just like i don't feel like i can move forward um i don't know if i can kind of take off successfully or materially um or which direction you might want to move in terms of career in terms of um you know, if you're moving locations or financial as well as material objects and things kind of do play a part into the pentacles. So it's really, it's really harming you. It's making you feel like you're not doing enough. It's making you feel like you need to be doing more. 
But in reality, you know, you were going through this really, really big transformative period in your life. It's hard to get started with anything new and entrepreneurial when you're feeling like you're going through this really heavy emotion um, of changing and emotion when you're feeling a little bit low, when you're when you're really coming out of this place of feeling like you've literally burnt yourself to the ground. You have restructured so many things about yourself. Do not feel like you have lost this year because this burning of the ego, this burning of the self, this rebirth is going to reestablish you like you would not believe. The loyalty card, which plays a part, which is super funny that they get the dog and the loyalty card. The loyalty card means you're going to be establishing loyalty to those around you, your, um, you know, your friends, your family members. You're going to be closer than ever to them. Um, whereas before you may have felt really separated, you may have felt kind of isolated, like you're kind of left out of the group, which is what I feel the Three of Cups kind of represents. You know, you don't really feel like you can celebrate. Maybe you're overthinking your relationships and your friendships and you're like, oh, maybe they don't like me anymore. No, there's just this transformative energy that's been going on and I feel like your tribe and your, you know, your um, group of people really understand that. I'm not seeing any negative energy from that. They're just... They're waiting for you to come out of this place. They understand that you're in this place and they're giving you the space to really reflect and to grow with that. And it's really going to bring you back into yourself. The Hierophant, I'm seeing that there's definitely going to be some study that's going to be going on. You're going to be maybe learning some new things. You might be consulting somebody that's a little bit wiser than you. Um, you might be getting information. You might be consulting a life coach. You might be you know, finding information online or watching YouTube videos on how to really create um, this life for yourself and to how to like restructure this life for yourself in a way that you really feel fulfilled and happy keep studying keep listening to people that kind of know what's going on or people that have experienced the same things as you and just be open to that change and open to the knowledge of others because the the knowledge of others and their you know transformations are really going to make you feel like you're not alone um, and it's going to also make you feel like you can get through this and you can push through this situation the Knight of Cups also represents a lot of romance, a lot of fun energy coming this way, um, coming your way. So I'm seeing it's either, you know, an aspect of yourself where you're like, yeah, let's express myself. Um, cups being emotion. So it's like passionate. It's like loving. It's like kind. It's caring. Um, and I'm seeing that's going to be like a lot of the relationships around you. It's not necessarily romantic, I feel. I feel like you... I feel like you already kind of know what you want in terms of romance, but I feel like this is kind of really kind of getting in touch with your passionate romantic self again and just being able to have fun with it, you know, have fun with yourself, be flirty, be be um, kind of romantic and romantic with yourself too, it's like reestablishing the intimacy too. And we have the, um, you know, the the rune for partnership and a gift so i'm seeing that there's like there's a lot of things that the world has to offer you you're going to be receiving a lot of gifts and it's going to be a lot of other people involved in this next year and this this change is going to allow you to feel like you actually are progressing in the way that you want to progress um and just know that i feel like they're going to help you on your path they're going to help you to get started in this entrepreneurial sort of energy really connecting with others really having fun and being passionate and finding loyal connections people that are going to be with you to support you through all of your changes and any changes that you might have in the beginning but just realize that this period of feeling like you've burnt to ashes you're going to be reborn you're going to come through this and you're going to reconnect with this happy, fun, playful aspect of yourself, um, as well as just allowing that Knight of Cups energy, that super fun, like, hey, look what I can do, like, like reestablishing the connections with friendships as well. So reestablishing connections, strengthening friendships, strengthening love connections, um, and just finding like who is loyal to you. Really feel the loyalty um, and allow yourself to trust. So this is a heart um, of entry and this is heart chakra. So this is opening your heart, um, trusting, um, compassion, connecting. And the dog, you know, couldn't possibly be a more loyal companion. So I'm seeing that you have a lot of loyalty by your side. So definitely do not question this loyalty. Um, if you feel it when you're feeling dark and feeling sad and feeling despondent, just know that loyalty will always remain despite how you're feeling. We're going to look at your charms, get a little bit of a 
a little bit of extra info. Oh, well, 11 is a sacred number. You know, when you hear the 1111, it's a real, um, you know, changing number as well as 11 can be added up to two. So one and one is two. So again, that's reinforcing that this is going to be involving other people, which is lovely and fantastic. I'm going to listen to you a little more. The cat, being watchful. So being aware of the people that are not necessarily um, loyal, you'll see. You'll watch from the outside and you'll see. So use the connections that you have now you're really gonna be seeing a lot of change in regards to that. But you, you're watchful, you understand, you know who is not safe, you know what is destructive, you know what is not healthy and what is painful. Um, the tower also, you know, that reconstruction, right? The tower breaks down the foundation that you've built yourself on. Um, so I'm seeing this was a transformation that you went through, but you're gonna be blooming into this lovely, beautiful butterfly. It's coming, it is coming, I promise. The sun here, representative change, transformation, warmth, love, also Leo energy. Oh, I'm just throwing things around here. And clarity, I'm seeing this here, some of the cards, some of the times we got in the last one too, is like pile number, um, Two. Yeah, pile number two. So clarity, um, really, the geode is like breaking out, breaking free, you know, coming out of that space. And then, you know, playfulness, which is the carnelian rune. Playfulness, enjoying life, really kind of allowing that three of cups energy to be reversed and allowing yourself to really enjoy life without having to like overthink that you're not doing enough, that you're not doing good enough to the people around you because you were going through this personal change. And this a little here, um, me, you always have an angel by your side. So you are being divinely guided. Um, you're keeping the keeping out for number 11. That is a sign for you that your angels are with you. You are transforming. You are changing. You are growing. Growing pains aren't necessarily the most comfortable thing you're going through, but I'm seeing that you're going to be coming out of this place of depression and really connecting with those around you, which is lovely and fantastic and you're going to be really establishing some of those newer um, and more reinforced connections that are really going to last you know many many years um yeah that's kind of what i'm getting from this pile i hope this was enjoyable for you if you did enjoy please leave a thumbs up i would love to hear your comment and if you found this reading accurate in the description below um good luck in 2020 this is very exciting and transformative year for you um, yeah, I will, I will see you around, I guess. Take care. Hello, pile number four. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're going to be doing reading on what is 2020 going to bring for you. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of a crystal reading, a little bit of a rune reading, some tarot, and some charms included in this divination um, session today. So very exciting. A lot of things going on. A lot of things happening. Um, right off the bat, selenite to me speaks cleansing, speaks org cleansing. Um, purging, um, lifting heavy energies. So that's kind of right off the bat what I'm getting with the selenite, beautiful cleansing crystal. Um, and your rune today is harvest. So you are going to be harvesting what you have worked so darn hard to achieve. Um, in 2019, you're gonna be really seeing the benefits of that coming through in this year of 2020. So huzzah for you. Darn right, you deserve it. You worked your buns off and now you are going to be really reaping the benefits. So straight off the bat, really fantastic start. We're going to look at your cards now, see what you got. Hole in the soul. Ooh. Dear power. Page of swords. Ace of swords. Knight of swords. Hello. Two of Wands, Six of Cups. Okay, hello. I feel like there's been a big loss this year. 
Um, just based on this card here, whole and soul, there's something that's been really painful for you. I don't know if somebody's uh, passed away or, you know, you've had a big loss in 2019. My heart goes out to you. Um, I'm feeling like you're still a very strong person. You're really going through this actually better than a lot of people would. Um, I want you to know that uh, your angels are with you. Your guides are with you always. Um, this really left you feeling quite defeated, um, but just know that this 2020 year is going to be, it's going to help you reestablish things for sure. Um, and it's going to help you to regain some of your power. I'm seeing the deer, you know, a lot of power, a lot of transformation. The antlers are a connection to the heavens and the antlers are a connection to God energy, to the universal energies. Um, and patience in the face of adversity really speaks, really speaks here um, to me. Yeah, I just, I feel like I'm pausing a lot just because I feel like, yeah, it was some heavy stuff. Um, and I'm sorry that you had to experience that. That's some, you know, that's some deep stuff. But I'm seeing that this year you're going to really be moving on and you're really going to be um, able to grow and going to be really able to reconnect in a way. It's going to be maybe a bit, of, a bit slow moving. Um, you're going to have to take baby steps in this regard. Um, but all of the work that you are going to be doing is going to be very beneficial for you. Page of Swords here is popping up saying that there is some new ways of thinking, some new excitement um, in regards to mental pursuits, maybe some education that is going on here. Um, this is really going to take you out of this place of feeling like maybe you're a bit heavy, depressed, um, feeling like you don't really have power. This is going to help you feel like you have the power. So connecting with the dear energy here. Um, a lot of newness going on as well, like the Ace of Swords. Just some new ways of thinking, some new ways of perceiving, um, new mental ideas. Be open to kind of shifting in that regard. There is going to be some new thoughts and some new uh, ways of thinking that are going to be coming forward for you. And it's just going to come in like a knife. It's going to just cut through with clarity. It's a sword. It's like a lot of swords going on here. And then a knight of swords as well. We've got some swords. So this is a lot of mental energy. I'm, I'm detecting a lot of mental energy. This may be um, confusion and despondence. The knight of swords represents... Huzzah, here comes James Bond flying through the air. So this is going to, you're going to just cut through all this stuff and it's going to happen kind of quickly. Um, but once you start on this endeavor, once you take control of this mental energy, it's going to push you forward. I'm seeing that there's a decision that you need to make that you're maybe holding off from making because maybe you're clouded by feeling like you're kind of incomplete and you're just not sure what will make you feel complete. The Two of Wands is really speaking about decision, about cooperation with yourself and about making a choice. Making the choice to heal, making the choice to move forward with this fiery, or no, not necessarily fiery, I would say more airy, kind of like quick-witted energy that's going to be playing through here. Um, this is going to connect you with a lot of the things that maybe you felt like you've lost. You might feel a little nostalgic. Um, this might play into some of your childhood memories or some of the things that you enjoyed when you were younger. As well as this represents some playful energy. So the cups are filled with flowers. Making sure as well that all of the things that you are participating in have deep meaning for you. And have transformative nature for you in the way that... Um, you know, you're just allowing yourself to play, allowing yourself to enjoy, allowing yourself to feel like, you know, flights of fancy are fixed in this cup. So make sure that your dreams and your goals are realistic and um, based on maybe some of the things that you used to enjoy and some of the things that will bring you emotional fulfillment. So allowing that fun, playful, flirty energy to come forward and just being okay with maybe allowing yourself to indulge in some of those more creative, um, fun aspects. And the two of wands, you know, the decision making, the choices. So yes, there's going to be some choices that you're going to have to make. There's going to be some new decisions, but allowing that, you know, that childlike energy that you really needed to flourish, come through in you, be like the person that you wanted as a child, be that support system, be that strength, 
do it for yourself if no one else do it for yourself this hole in your soul there's this loss there's this feeling of of depression um and feeling like you know you're a martyr i'm also seeing that there's a lot of like you know you put yourself out there a lot and you maybe had to deal with a lot of people's stuff um which has kind of left you stagnant which has kind of left you feeling a little bit broken a little bit used and abused in that sense but i'm seeing that this power is going to come through you're going to come through like the deer you're going to find this new fun you're going to really allow yourself to move forward in your mental pursuits and just really be observant of your thoughts in this time you're going to be getting a lot of ideas and a lot of inspiration and a lot of that inspiration again is going to be coming from some of this sense of playfulness and not necessarily any of this heavy stuff so don't like dwell too much i know it's hard i know it's hard because this is some deep stuff and i'm not telling you oh just be happy but it is difficult to move forward when all you focus on is all of the loss and all of the pain that you have allow yourself to play allow yourself to be in the space of enjoyment because that will help you make choices and make decisions so all of your choices are not based on a lot of this heaviness and the stuff that you've had to deal with um, being the page of swords, you know, allowing that fun to come through and the knight of swords, allowing that, you know, the drive, it's not like this really serious energy, just be okay with where you're at. Um, allow yourself to play. Don't feel like you need to be anywhere. Um, explore and figure things out in yourself. Then this choice of decision will make sense a little bit more. You'll be able to know which choice you need to make because you're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on your growth and your mental, um, pursuits and that's really going to assist you this 2020 year which i'm really happy for because much love to you much love to you and some of the heaviness you've been going through um you're really gonna you know in the, in the rune as well you're really going to reap what you sow so doing this you know self-work and and going through a lot of this you know a lot of this transformation is it's really going to pay off for you and the growth and the harvest card is really going to show that you're going to be able to push through this and you're going to be growing from this quite a lot um, as a person and you're just going to really be able to understand a little bit more of what you want in life and the choices that you need to make in order to move forward let's take a look at your charms holy smoke dun 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 ah sorry dropped something here ahem <clears throat> charms hello hello so we have, I don't know if you can see it there, maybe turn it this way, there we go, you can see it now. Um, so what I'm getting right off the bat, intuition, so you're going to be trusting your intuition a lot more throughout this year, um, and it's going to be coming with clarity, so trust your intuition with clarity, um, and as, as long as you're in touch with yourself, you're coming closer to yourself, your intuition is going to become stronger, it's going to allow you to be more mentally sharp and it's going to allow clarity for decision. Um, the clear quartz represents that, cl that clear thinking, that clear minded thinking that you definitely need. Um, I'm seeing that there's like some commitment that's going to be happening here. Maybe this is the decision that you need to make. Um, a lot of romance, um, a lot of commitment, um, marriage even, or thoughts of marriage, thoughts of um, long-term goals that's also representative of this not necessarily marriage but also long-term goals and things that you want to establish long-term so a lot of these changes are really going to be setting you up for the future so this is your your time to really push forward with that because um, this year you know being fulfilled with maybe some some difficult things this is really going to help you push through the turtle, so the turtle means kind of coming out of your shell and there's a venturing on the top of this, so it's love. Coming out of your shell and not being afraid to really express yourself. You may have felt like a turtle on your back, a little bit powerless, a little bit helpless, but the dear power card as well as the turtle is telling you that you do have enough um, strength to continue to move forward and to kind of come out of the space of maybe feeling like you're on your back. So we have Aquarius energy, which is friendly. So to me, the Aquarius speaks of um, knowledge. So again, really ties into the swords that you had here. So that's a lot of knowledge, um, as well as creating friendships. Creating friendships is going to really be a big thing for you this year as well. 
um, and being more social too. I feel like being social is going to help you and it's going to stimulate you um, mentally, which is what feel like what you need. You need to come out of this space where you're dwelling and you're thinking about a lot of the stuff that you've been through and it's going to bring you into this Aquarian energy, the water bearer, you know, the bringer of water, the bringer of life. And uh, yeah, and the tower, I think I've gotten the tower every single pile so far. I don't know what it is. I guess it's a transformative year, I guess. Um, and just allowing the transformations to happen. Some of these old ways of thinking and these old structures and these old thought systems are going to be crumbling and you're really going to step into yourself and you're really going to commit to that change I'm seeing. Um, and I'm really happy to see that because it's been a little bit of a year for you. Mm, if not the year, then the last three months, definitely. Um, you're going to find that change in the new year. So focusing a lot on coming out of your shell and socializing and making friendships, being more conversational, um, being the, uh, you know, the, the swords, get your energy out there, talk to people, start conversations, see other people's perspective, have fun, enjoy life. But I'm seeing that there is an aspect of needing to be more social. So when you're in social situations, um, I'm making a little bit of an extra effort, even if it seems cringy to make that type of conversation with other people is going to allow you to kind of break free and it's going to actually keep you out of your, keep you out of your head. Um, and it's going to just allow you to be sharper in your thinking instead of oh, my video cut out there. So anyways, good luck um, in, in 2020. Um, that's kind of all I have for this reading today. Much love to you. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more videos. And good luck with everything. I will see you around. Bye.